I thought it would be kind of fun just to make a quick little video. It's not going to be quick because i got a lot of cartridges to go through. Of my Atari 8-bit cartridge collection. Now, I love the Atari 8-bit computer line. Uh, this is the computer I had you know, back in the 80s. I used to write uh, games on. I used to sell games at, uh, at user group meetings and stuff like that. I actually wrote a game I was going to sell through the Apex uh, Program Exchange. But at the time I was getting it finished up, I got my car and started cruising, picking up chicks. I lost interest in video games, so I never really finished the game I was going to submit to Apex for the Atari Program Exchange. It's going to be pretty cool, though. I had a couple games I did write that I did sell, you know, through uh, you know, uh, mail, stuff like that. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's go through some of the cartridges I have. I need to take an inventory because I'm getting to the point now where I can't remember what I have in my collection. And I sometimes buy duplicates, so I'll make myself an updated list of what I have. And I thought maybe I would share it with you guys as I go through it. So the first cartridge I have, which is a must if you have the Atari 8-bit computer, is the Atari Max, my IDE2. This is a great little cartridge. Uses a uh, compact flash card. You can put programs on, you know, either tape, disc, or cartridge ROMs to play. I use this quite a bit on my 8-bit uh, computer. It's actually a, a really nice little cartridge to own. <coughs> so the first one, I have Star Wars Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle. Awesome. Complete in a box. <coughs> I'm okay. Pretty awesome. That's a nice little cartridge to have. Another one I have, complete in the box, is Star Raiders 2 for the Atari XE game system. I love the original Star Raiders. I love playing this game as well. It's basically uh, the last Starfighter is what it is, but it's been branded Star Raiders 2. I guess they couldn't get the licensing, licensing for the last Starfighter to make a game. But that's basically what this game is. And of course, one of my favorite games, Orc Attack. Now this game, you're defending a castle wall by dropping boulders on attacking orcs that are building ladders. You can either drop them on the orcs, you can drop them on the ladders to destroy those. Once you get to a certain level, you can pick up oil to start a fire down there to complete the level. Really fun game. It's one of my favorites on the system. I already made a video about this game. Another one I have... Computer War! Awesome! Based on the movie War Games. This is another little fun game. I don't think I made a video on this yet. I may have. But it's actually a real fun game to play as well. And of course, Submarine Commander. I love submarine uh, battle simulations, and this is actually pretty good on the Atari 8 bit line. Moving right along. Of course, you know, I got this one, Dreadnought Factor. Just recently picked this one up. Really happy to add that to the collection. Happy, 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 happy to add that to the collection. Squish'em Sam. Oh, that's another good one. Enjoy that one as well. Miner 2049er. Awesome. Of course, you got to have arcade ports. Donkey Kong Jr. Not too bad of a port. Pole Position. Not too bad of a game. Let's see. Another one in my collection. A Frogger. Oh, upside down. Frogger. Awesome. Of course, you have to have Wizard of War. Oh, yeah. Not too bad of a version. No, I, I do prefer the Bally Astrocade version. Uh, but this is actually a pretty good one to play as well. Of course, Star Wars Arcade. Awesome. Sports game. Football. Now, I don't really collect... I like to collect sports games, but... Since it is an 8-bit cart, and I want to collect as many 8-bit carts as I could, I went ahead and collected a football game. It's not too bad of a football game. But, you know, it's not something I, I enjoy to, to collect. Another great arcade port, Joust. Awesome. Here's a fun little puzzle game. Can't read the label very well. It's called Castle Hassle. 
And basically you're a ghost going through all these different rooms. And each room is a puzzle as you try to get the prize. It's, it's a really fun game to play. I think I made a video on that already as well. Of course, a, real good ver a really good version of Space Invaders, Deluxe Invaders. This is my favorite version of Space Invaders to play on the 8-bit. Much better than the Atari release. Caverns of Mars. Another really fun game. Of course, computer chess. I like chess. This is actually a pretty good chess simulation on the Atari 8-bit. Another XE game. Food Fight! Oh, I love the arcade version of Food Fight. It's a good game on the 1700 as well. Really enjoy this cartridge. Night Strike. Now, this is a really fun game. Basically, you're a mobile gun. Bomb the screen. You're trying to defend your city against bombers. It's pretty cool. I think I made a video on that already. Shamus. Or Seamus. I don't know how to pronounce that. Another good game. Spy Hunter. Yeah. Fun game on the Atari 8-bit. Not too bad of a game. And then, of course, we have Mega Mania from Activision. Jungle Hunt. Yeah. And, of course, Galaxian. Pretty decent port. Blue Max from the Atari XE. That's a, this is a really fun game. I used to play this on my regular Atari bit uh, off of a disc. I had this game on disc for this. It's kind of cool they put it on the cartridge. Of course, Millipede. Pretty cool. Another XE game. Battle Zone. This, this game I picked up up in... Uh, where was I? I was up in Toledo, Ohio, I think. I can't remember, but I remember I picked this up at a uh, bookstore. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Second and Charles. And this was outside in the free bin, just laying out there. So that was pretty cool. At first I thought it didn't work, but it does work. Centipede. Really great game. Of course, Kaboom. This is my favorite version of Kaboom to play, mainly because it plays the uh, 1812 Overture as you catch the bombs. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Plus it has like a little city behind the guy at the top of the screen. It's a really cool graphical update and musical update to the original Kaboom game of the 2600, which I absolutely love. Barnyard Blaster, really great light gun game on the Atari XE and also the Atari 8-bits. Really fun game to play. Of course we have Gyrus. Yeah, great arcade port. Got a homebrew here, Venture by Video Video 61, I believe. Is, who made this? Yeah. Who made this? Video 61? Yeah. This is a really cool venture game, arcade port to the Atari computer line. Highly recommend getting this if you like Venture. Of course, one of my favorite arcade games, Pingo. Sliding those little ice cubes around, trying to squish those snow bees. Final Orbit. Fun little space game. Robotron 2084. Works best with two joystick controllers. Really, really good port. Dave's Midnight Magic, a really fun pinball game from the Atari XE and for the Atari 8-bits. Choplifter, oh yeah, my Brunderbund. Really fun helicopter game rescuing the uh, stranded soldiers. Oop, where are you? Got another chess game. This one's from Parker Brothers. Another XC game, oh, Crime Buster. Awesome. We have Dig Dug. Oh yeah, another great arcade port. Missile Command. Oh yeah. Another great arcade port. Of course, Pac-Man. Love Pac-Man on the Atari 8-bit. 
Now, this version isn't perfect, but it was a lot better than the 2600 version. This is the one I played quite a bit back in the day. Of course, there's an updated version of this for the 5200. It's more like the arcade. That's really awesome. And we have Bounty Bob Strikes Back from Big, Bob, Big Five Software. Cool. Super Cobra, which don't really care for the arcade game, but, you know, it was a cartridge, so I wanted to pick it up for the collection. We have Frogger 2, which I haven't played yet. Really cool sequel. It was $24.99 from Destiny Games. Got this up in Detroit, I believe. I think that's where Destiny Games is. Gorf. Oh, yeah, I love Gorf. Gorf is awesome. Mario Brothers. Yeah, there's a great arcade port. Really fun game to play. Oh, look. Another Gorf. I got two of them. I didn't notice this. One's in a darker cartridge. Huh. I got two Gorfs. Hm. Didn't know that. Now I do. Oh. Asteroids. Oh, yeah. River Rescue! Oh, cool. Ooh, my stack is getting rather large over here. Load Runner from the XE game system. Really fun game. Used to play that a lot off a of, off of a disc. Moon Patrol. Dun 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 dun, dun, dun. cool. Oh, Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man. Awesome. Rally Speedway. This is a really fun racing game. What I like about this game is it reminds me a lot of the Intellivision Auto Race. We got the top down uh, overhead view of your race car. You can race around on the tracks. This reminds me a lot of that. It's a really good game. Really fun racing game. It's, and someone is going nuts on my messenger. <laughs> Boodoo, Boodoo. Uh, what's this one? Donkey Kong from the XE game system. Really good port of Donkey Kong. It's pretty cool. Of course, Star Raiders, one of my favorite games on the Atari 8-bit. Love this thing. People, leave me alone. I'm trying to make a video. I got some people who like to uh, text me that haven't learned to make just one sentence. They, just, they say like two words, hit return, hit two more words, hit return, two more words, hit return. It goes beep, 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 beep. Drives me insane. I just had to mute them. Grid Runner! Awesome. That's another, my HES software. Oh, here's a fun one. Crazy Shootout from K-Byte. This is my, this is my uh, answer to get my Berserk fix on the uh, Atari 8-bit line. Serpentine. Basically, this is Nibbler for the Atari 8-bit, the arcade game. Really fun game. Love this game to death. Because I like Nibbler in the arcade quite a bit. We have Kicks. Awesome. It's actually a really good version of it. It's not bad. We have Atlantis. Awesome. And of course, Monster Maze. Pretty cool. And then finally, we have gotten to Space Shuttle. This is actually pretty good on the Atari 8 bit line. Not too bad. Now, there are quite a few cartridges out there I'm still looking for. Now, one in particular I really want to get a hold of is uh, Mr. TNT from, I think, HES Software. That, that's a really cool game. I made a video on it, on it playing it emulation, but I like to have the actual cartridge. Uh, Tank Command is another one I'd like to get a hold of. There's a few other ones. Now, I don't have all the Atari 8-bit cartridges yet. Uh, i got a ways to go. But I thought I would share with you what ones I do have in my collection so far. Because I think it's kind of cool to uh, share my collection every once in a while with everybody. Because everybody's asking me, what do I have? And so I thought this was an opportunity to do that while I take inventory and make myself a list to take with me on my phone so I don't buy duplicates again. But anyway, that was my Atari Bit collection, cartridge collection. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.